Welcome Afukas. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Dragon Oracle cards, Nature's Whispers and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's get into it with the Dragon Oracle cards. Okay, so one card for Afukas please. One card for Afukas. There it is. Air and a Fire Dragon. Okay, it expands your creative energies. Harness your creativity, excitement, and enthusiasm. Communicate your passion. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I like this. Let me get this ready from the book so that we can read it at the end. Okay, so. Air and Fire Dragon. There it is, number 32. One of my favourite numbers, 32 to 33. Alrighty, a few kiss. Air and Fire Dragon. Communicate your passion. Tell me more about this for a few kiss, please. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so adventure the first card we have here is adventure um the other cards are upside down but i just really want to talk about this right now um is this okay so first off if you because not everything can be seen so it can be a little bit like you don't know what's going to happen which may be a little bit scary for some of you okay um about the fact that she's sitting in the seashell here and floating along there's this connection with the earth but she's risen above the earth, okay? Um, and this here, it's the seashell is one that um, you can put against your ear and apparently hear the sea. Well, I've never really heard the sea like the sea is, but I feel like this is you listening, listening, maybe getting out in nature and connecting with nature so you can hear the call, okay? This could be, I'm not sure, this is the thing I'm not sure if you're you're really tapping into this passion, okay, of what you need. But the communication of the passion, when we're talking about this, listening, it's like, it reminds me of, I don't know, back in the day when we were young, we used to have the, the cups and we'd put a string on them and <laughs> pretend that we could communicate through, you know, like it was like a telephone. Um, and... It's that kind of thing. There's this, this communication that needs to happen for you. With your passion, you need to tap into it. Okay, it's kind of like your passion is screaming out to you, but you're not hearing it. And it could be something that you feel like you don't, you're not able to pursue because of your circumstances in life. But I want to say, make room. Make room where you can. Treat it as a priority, okay? We have Renewal of Peace. Beautiful. Ideal Course of Action. Alrighty, let's get into this here. So tell me more about Adventure for a few of us, please. Adventure. And this could be you traveling to different pastures, you know, traveling the world. Maybe this is something you've always desired, you've always wanted to do, you know, slowing down. First off, slowing down here. Okay, um, slowing down, I feel like, to take in the um, what is going around on around you. It's kind of like everything's happening in, around you so fast. Like it's just like the daily grind kind of thing that it's actually s slowing down to take in nature, to, to feel each step that you walk upon the earth to become more conscious of the present moment to become more conscious of your being in the moment. This is actually a mermaid in the shell. I feel like some of you are keeping yourself in a shell. You haven't come out of your shell yet. And it's like you're observing life. And you really want to come out. You want to come out and explore. But 
for some reason you're not. But when you do, what you will do is you will connect with the people who are yours. Okay, you will connect with your people, your soul family, and you will you will actually I feel like experience the world. I feel like this is what needs to happen for you if you is for you to experience the world. We have this creativity card here. Okay. And it's it's like there's something inside of you that wants to break out. And yet for some reason you feel like you're in limbo with that for some reason. I wonder if for some of you this is fear of being criticised for what you can do, for your ability, for your talent, for your creations. Maybe there are people around you who have put you down for that and so you keep it to yourself. Maybe it is a matter of surrounding yourself with people who will encourage that if you kiss. Maybe it is a matter of you encouraging yourself to do that like you would with everybody else. This is about you letting your passion flow, letting your creativity out so that you can truly be who you are because this is why you walk this earth plane, right? This is why you're here, so that you can be who you truly are because look at what you've achieved so far. You've risen up through the cracks. You've risen up into the light. As hard as it has been, you have done that. This is you. You have done that. So why hold yourself back now? Why allow anyone else to hold you back, right? It's fear. It is fear. Fear of ruffling feathers. Fear that things are going to crash and burn. Fear of falling and being hurt. But look what you've done. You know, nothing can knock you down. It feels like it does, but you know, a few kiss, you get back up and you rise up. That's what you've always done. When have you never not done that? So you've never failed at anything because you've always risen up. That's not a failure. That's a massive accomplishment. More than a lot of people could have done. So why would you allow yourself to be kept down? Why would you keep yourself down? Right? And maybe this is something that you've has happened in the past. And I just wonder if some of you are in this cocoon moment right now, allowing yourself to rest. I feel like this is also about this inner child receiving the nurturing and the love that you need. But this is this nature thing again, getting out of nature, okay, and allowing nature to nurture you. That's what it's there for, right? We're part of that. We are part of that. So why not utilize it? Well, why not utilize it so that it can help you take the rest and relaxation that you need so that it can help you to tap into this passion, right? To harness that creativity, right? Excitement and enthusiasm. Yeah, communicate your passion. Okay, oh, is that one there? Oh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> getting them in order of how they came out. Right, these two, first two cards here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's this, this, these wishes that you would love to have fulfilled, but for some reason you're fighting them. Um, there's this armor that you have on because of this fear, I feel. The, this fear of um of falling falling and burning crashing and burning um and how do you how do you get to all those those dreams that you you wish to have with with a a suit of armor on how do you do that right how do you allow the sunshine to nurture you how do you walk through nature um, with this heavy, heavy, heavy metal around you. What is that serving? How do you be creative? 
you know, inside the suit of armor here is this bat this internal battle going on in the mind, in the mind of Fucus. Okay, yeah, see, clinging to the past here. All right, um, okay, what is this about? This is this is this putting the box over the head, okay, and pretending everything's okay. And it's sort of like, but look how creative I got. Look how blinged up that box is. I'm creative. What are you talking about? Of course I'm creative. Look at it. But there's still this restriction. And I feel like this renewal of peace is letting go of the restriction. This is about you birthing a new creation. Maybe a new creation of yourself, potentially. But I want to say also understanding that the smallest of things can teach you the biggest of lessons. There is so much to be. You don't need a massive thunderbolt moment in order to learn what you need to learn. You can learn that through nature. You can go out, go out in nature and see how it all really works to understand what it's all about, what life is all about, why we are here. To understand your role in things, your purpose. Okay, we've got understanding here. Yeah, see, this is about you getting out and exploring. Getting out and, and exploring. We've got the healing card here and we've got integration. Um, and all, this, I feel like this bird here has had its wings broken and it had to take time out before it could fly. And I feel like this is representative of you. I feel like the wings are potentially healed. But the fear from having had the wings broken before is still there. And so it's kind of just watching it from a distance to go, I know I can and I know that I'm ready, but I'm really scared. And what I want to say about that is that's okay. Embrace that. Nurture that. That part of you that's really afraid, love it. Okay? And accept it. It's not about not feeling it. Maybe it's actually about feeling it. Maybe it's about feeling that fear. And taking the leap anyway. You know, because this is the thing with this, right? This is about you healing the heart here. And this is this darkness here, right? Of the yin-yang symbol. The darkness is the fear. The lightness is what is there, the dream, everything that you could possibly have. Because you have all the tools, you have everything you need in order to take this leap. It's the fear that stops you. It's the darkness. So love the darkness. Embrace it and let it know that regardless of it being there, you will take that leap into the light anyway. And you will continue to support and love yourself accordingly. Okay? Okay? ideal course of action the ideal course of action yeah see this is this contemplating which way to go but I feel like there's almost a bit of over contemplating it's kind of like and then it's like then you get so confused because it's like oh, I've thought about it too much now I should just take you know it's like it's like going into the the beach for a swim right and it's so freaking cold that it's every time you take a step it's painful and sometimes if you just run in and dive in it's, it's a lot easier um well, peeling off a plaster, little bit by little bit, and each hair is painful, and it's like you just have to whip it off, you know. So, ideal course of action. Tell me more about this, please. Is this this need to? Um, I feel like. First of all, definitely overthinking things, but I also feel like there's a need to just make a wish and trust that it will be delivered to you, okay? Um, okay, 
So let's just get these here. Interesting. Okay, I'll just pick these things up off the floor. And by things, I mean cards, which I'm sure you realised. Okay, so that one was there. Okay, so, oh, yes, yes, there is a new beginning here. There is a new beginning that is ready for the taking for you, and it's a matter of you being receptive to it. Okay, a matter of you being open enough, healing this heart, right? Healing the heart here because this is the same flower, right? Is that is which is in the heart. Um, because this is, you know, this is all about this cycle of life here. That um it's actually a natural course of action to take. The ideal course of action is different from the natural course of action. Okay, the ideal course of action is thought. When you drop into the heart and go with that, it's going to be the natural course of action here that is to be taken and you're not going to have to question it. It's just going to work for you. Okay, um, this here I feel like is stopping you. Very interesting energy to have here these two cards okay okay let me just have a look okay i see i see i see i see wow there's a really big beginning here for you really really big beginning which is fantastic there's just some things that you need to get through okay um I'm just getting a couple of things here and I want to talk about this all together here okay for some of you I feel like this is about you gathering the people who um, support you in order to help you get through any deception um, that you have had happen in your life from other people there's another side of this that is speaking to me about having actually friends who have done the dirty on you um potentially which is where it's really hard for you to open up now okay and it's sort of like then you bring in new people into your life and it's forever comparing what has happened to you in the past and this is something that needs to be healed and let go of so that you can easily move forward freely and yes you know there's nothing wrong with being cautious um and using your intuition Okay, nothing wrong with that at all. I just think sometimes we can overthink things a little bit and that can get in the way of moving forward with something that is actually for us and we can see things that maybe aren't what they once were in other circumstances with other people. So just be mindful of that, I want to say. Okay, be very mindful of that because this new beginning here is incredible. Um, <clears throat> this is about you going with the, this is, this is sort of something that is, is meant for you. This is a divine um, part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. There's nothing that um, that you need to worry about. I mean, I say that but you know obviously sure we need to be aware of boundaries we need to be aware of our thinking you know what we are actually contributing that we're not projecting our own stuff um, into situations we're not comparing ourselves um, in a negative way that we're accepting everyone for their own um, strengths and um, but understanding that this new beginning is something that you can actually create for yourself here, okay? And when you tap into the heart of who you truly are and allow things to take their course, then that is going to happen naturally for you and you're going to be able to create this whole new reality for yourself that um, that is going to be beyond what you could have dreamed of. Okay, so in saying that, let's have a look what else Ear and Fire Dragon has to say. Okay, so Aphucus, 
Ear and Fire Dragon expands your creative energies. Harness your creativity, excitement and enthusiasm. Communicate your passion. Okay, about this card. Shimmering fourth dimensional blue and orange ear and fire dragons are very vocal. They love to express themselves and make their presence known. They often create turbulence as they swirl around us. Ear mixes with fire to ignite an explosion of creativity, enthusiasm and aliveness. These dragons make us feel happy, excited and sometimes a little unsettled or even overwhelmed. At the same time, the element of fire transmutes lower energies and clears the path of our destiny, while air enables us to communicate our passion at a soul level. So when you look at these thunderbolt moments, this could be so that you are you know, getting to that destiny, the path, getting to the path of your destiny. Okay, the guidance of this card. Choosing this card indicates it is time to harness your gifts and talents for your highest good and that of the world. You have something in your soul to bring forward. So your guidance is to decide what fires your enthusiasm. Then trust your inner wisdom and talk about it. Take a chance and step into your true path of happiness and creativity. Remember that excitement and passion are magnetic qualities and will draw the right people and situations to you. Yep, right? Like this. Okay. <clears throat> this card can also suggest... Oh, where am I? Sorry. This card can also suggest that circumstances may be present may present themselves to you in which you will be required to make a rapid decision using your intuition and discernment rather than logic. Yeah. Mm. The air and fire dragon who has come to you is telling you to trust yourself. A few kiss. 100%. You have all you need to make the right choice. With your air and fire dragon beside you, success is ensured. Ah, yes, how awesome. That is perfect. I am going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.